All right, YouTube, we are back. We have the Lee Classic Reloader here. I'm gonna show you, this is the Zombie Apocalypse Reloader. You can reload on the fly. Now, we're gonna, t we're gonna skip a step or two, and I'm gonna explain that in a second, but let me go over what's in the box, okay? In the box, you have your components that will pretty much get the job done. The decapper to remove the primer, a little powder measure, a decapper like bottom thing, your round goes in there and you strike that to pop the primer out. So your 30.6 round goes there. And then your, um, I don't know what these are called, stop collar, body, and bullet seater are here. This is also where you would prime, you actually use this to, you put a primer there and then you use a little mallet and you'll actually put seat your primer using this cedar tool, uh, cedar tool and then a little push rod okay okay so let's skip a few steps here one let's assume that this brass has already been cleaned and trimmed okay meaning that you've already tumbled it and cleaned it uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube to show you how to clean brass you're gonna tumble this brass in some media, get it clean, get some of the dirt and grime on. I actually use a Hornady Sonic Cleaner. I'll show you that show you that in another video. Kind of probably should have did a video on that uh, item a little bit ago. But now you have it cleaned and trim. On this manual and in a lot of the books here, they'll tell you what length to trim it to. Maximum trim length is 2.9 2.494 inches. So anyway, you'll want to use a case trimmer trim this to size lastly I am out of large primer so I can't give you an example of, of, of seating a primer in this but I'll pretend and we'll use some visualization so we'll go that route so I have my kit here I'm gonna grab my brass and I'm gonna resize it I do that by putting it in the very bottom on the larger part of this and I'm gonna use a little mallet I'm just gonna hammer that until it's fully seated it's gonna resize and kind of re-neck the, the, the brass so it, it forms it to its correct form because remember when you shoot your shoot your round it actually can form a slightly deform the brass casing based on the pressure okay once that's done I'm gonna prime this and I'm gonna prime this and again we're also gonna assume that you've deprimed all this brass too so I lay the large primer here I put this seating thing here and I basically grab the push rod and I just bam 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 I'll give it a little hammer and then that will seat the primer into the bottom of this brass casing once that's done I can simply use this push rod to help push this round back out it's now empty and what I need to do is two things once that this is primed trimmed and clean I need to figure out my weights again you're gonna work with your formula with this particular powder, I am 4895, this 30-06 150 grain bullet is going to take 50 grains of powder, which is my preferred charge. So it's going to take a second for me to measure this out, so bear with me here. Grab my little scooper, which will be more of a rough estimate. I have my powder scale here, and let me uh, see if I can move this into view. Sorry about the fisheye lens, it distorts things and makes things look like you're on crack. So as you can see, zero 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 I'm gonna get to 50 grains so it's gonna take me a second to scoop and dump and there's other tools out there that can help me there's tools that can auto charge I can literally put in 50 grains of powder and it'll spin and pump out the exact weight for me and obviously that's faster but since I, I, I hunt twice a year and I don't mind reloading 15 rounds of ammunition sure it might take me little over an hour but I don't mind it it's you know it gets me into the man cave gets me away from the hustle and bustle of the house it's very therapeutic in my mind I have 50.1 grains of powder that's acceptable okay now I'm gonna grab my little funnel I'm gonna grab this brass I'm gonna just do it like this and I'm gonna dump this powder into this brass casing okay all right so I'm gonna move the powder scale away now I'm gonna seat the bullet now this is where the trick goes in and I, I talked about the cantalore. remember that the little cantalore right here this little it's easy because all I have to do is seat that cantalore right in the middle of the tip of the end of the brass and that's the proper seating depth it's actually automatic so that is a cool feature so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to put this back in like so Hold on 
one sec here. Okay, now I take my decapper thing. I'm gonna put this here, and I'm just gonna lay this like so. You'll notice I have a wood block for a reason. I have a wood block so I can not scratch up my workbench too bad. I'm gonna lay it on the wood block, and I'm gonna just tilt this angle here for a minute so you guys get a little bit better angle. Okay, I'm gonna take my bullet and I'm gonna drop it in here. Now, you'll notice that there's like this waiter. This is how I adjust the seating depth of the bullet. So once I drop that in there, I'm actually gonna take this and my mallet, and this little rod's gonna push the bullet and seat this down. Okay, once it kind of bounces off the metal, I know it's pretty much at its end. I have to pull it out and we'll have to see. Now, as you can see, I'm not quite there and I haven't adjusted this depth yet. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna rotate it and I'm gonna take it a couple turns and I'm gonna twist this to move it down because I want this to go down just a tad. I don't wanna to go too far, but I wanna get that to the cantilever. So halfway through the cantilever so I can know my depth's good. So again, I'm gonna take that and I'm going to adjust this until I get there and I'm just going to do small incremental changes while I figure out this depth because once I figure out this depth I can just rock and roll with the next few rounds and be pretty damn close to perfect so I'm just doing incremental changes and I only have to do this once guys so once I get this seated at the correct depth I won't have to mess around with this anymore and just ignore the loud banging noises it's just the way it has to be I'm almost there I just need to go just another hair okay I'm happy with that so that's halfway through the cantilever can you see that now I'm gonna crimp this and the way I do that is I turn this around leave this in the decapping cap turn this around Give it one tap, two taps, whatever. And that will put a little crimp here on this and put the bullet in really nice. So this is right and tight, 50 grains of powder, 30-06 round, done. That's it, that's one round. So the longest process in this whole thing is really measuring 50 grains of powder. Other than scoop and dump and wait till I get my 50 grains, but that's as fast as I can make a hunting round. That round's done, so I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna finish up the rest of these rounds. So let's uh, quickly, I'll show you how fast this is now that we've got things kind of dialed in for the moment. I need 50 grains of powder, 42.3, and you'll get, like I said, there's other tools out there so you can just dial this in a little quicker, but you know what, it's not a bad process for me, I don't care. I'll, again, gets me 50.5, I need to take a little back out. Okay, 49.9. Again, if I'm really close, that's gonna be good enough for me. Get my little funnel. Drop this shiz in. Let it go in to the, okay, 50 grains of powder. Put it on my decapping die thingy. I'm gonna grab a bullet and my setup here. Drop the bullet in at the top. Seating thingy. If I did everything right, this should be halfway through the cantilever, which it is. I'm going to flip this upside down and I'm going to crimp it. That's it. Done. Boom. Hunting bullet. 30 out 6 Springfield. And I just got to do this 13 more times. I'll be ready to go on my hunt. I'll be able to go to the range tomorrow, shoot about five rounds, make sure I'm just shooting softball size at 200, 200 yards, and then I ha I'll have another 10 rounds for my hunt, which is more than enough. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Lee Classic Lee Reloader, apocalyptic zombie killing reloading on the fly. Sure, you need other tools to help you get by, but you can see how easy that is to do your own deal. You don't need this big honking 
set up here that helps you load. You know, I load 223 5.56 with this bad boy because I need volume. As you can see, I have a few. I'm able to load in some volume, but with my 30 6 my hunting rifle, I only need five to 10 rounds. It's designed to take down big game. It's not gonna be my zombie apocalyptic battle rifle. It's gonna be my hunting. I need to feed my family. Let's take down something that's editable and that's it. So as you can see, my Diet Dr. Pepper's right there. I'm gonna drink that right now, I'm thirsty. Thumbs up, subscribe, you guys rock. Any questions, shoot it down below. Again, I'm not an expert in the large bore rifle reloading, but I definitely have done 30-06, so done that round. When it comes to other rounds, I'm not an expert. So, you know, again, if you have a question, shoot me a comment below. Appreciate you guys watching. More videos to come. Take it easy, guys.